guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today's another Brian Plays, and I'm gonna be playing Heli. Actually, I'm gonna be playing on Christmas mode because, well, I'm filming this and it's almost Christmas and there's a nasty storm outside. So what better to thing to do on a day of a nasty storm than to play some Intellivision. Um, so this game is, uh, I, I've talked about this game before in the past. Um, a few times, it's made by the programmer Carlos Madruga, um, and it's pretty much a hero, Activision's hero, uh, for the Intellivision. But he made some nice features. So by putting in this secret, not so secret code, you get Merry Christmas, and then we get to play Heli on in Christmas mode. So let's do this. There we are, there's Santa right there. Um, yeah. I have to remember what the buttons are. I'm using my um, my long play controller for this to test it out some more. Whoa. Okay, there we go. I have to remember, the buttons are different on this. You know, you, you got the three buttons here um, instead of the side buttons. So you just got to remember what button is what, you know, when getting used to this. I like how it's Christmas presents instead of uh, bombs. It's a nice touch. I mean, this is really cool what he did, uh, you know, just literally swapping out the graphics. Uh, you know, it's the same game, it's not like the game changes, but uh, just just the, fit, the, the little things like sw switching out some of the colors and, and having Santa Claus instead of your regular hero guy, it's just a really cool idea. Of course, it gives us something to play during the uh, holiday season. Not sure how far I've gotten in, in this game before. Oh, just got hit. I like the look on his face, like, oh! Just got hit. The other thing is cool how his hat is the, uh, the helicopter part. Um, you know, instead of having the little helicopter, it's his hat flopping around like that. But that's a really interesting touch. Oh, some nasties running around. Where's the, there's a hole around here, isn't there? Where am I? Uh, I hate being in the dark. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, am I stuck here? Uh, no. Okay. I wonder what that is. Some kind of little Christmas hobgoblins or something. I don't know. things are getting everywhere. Oh, okay. It's funny how this, it, it feels like a different game. Like, it is Hero. I mean, it's the same uh, layout and everything, but it, when you're in Christmas mode, you just feel like you're playing a different game. <laughs> like, everything is just, feels different. Ah! No! Not getting very far here. Oh, okay, those walls, uh, you can't touch those. <laughs> That'll hurt me. Oh. Ah, oh, still not close enough. I'm gonna run out of bombs. The other touch is the music. Where's the, oh, there it is. And of course, you're getting your reindeer friend here instead of the little guy. So it looks like Rudolph's got the red nose. So I guess it's uh, Santa saving Rudolph. That's a change instead of Rudolph saving Santa. Saving his butt, anyways. I've said this before, and uh, you know, Carlos did a really good job on this uh, conversion. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> <coughs> a dry throat there. Oh, uh, and it's got temperature here. I just noticed that too. It's temperature, I guess. Before he freezes to death. 
that's even possible for Santa Claus to freeze to death. He lives in the North Pole. <laughs> uh. Whoa! I didn't mean to go down there. Santa Clauses. Try not to touch that wall. Okay. The thing about Hero, and well, I guess this game in general, is that usually you gotta go down the path that you wouldn't want to go down. Uh, Cause this looks free and you can just go down there. But you usually have to go for the path that you wouldn't want to take. That's what I've kind of fear ah, figured out with this game. I have to blow the wall up with my laser beam. When you run out of bombs, that's what you gotta do. Or presents, anyways. You just gotta shoot the wall. It takes a while to blow it up doing that, though. Oh, 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 oh! I'm coming, Rudolph. Okay, at this point, I'm not even sure what level I'm on. Oh, level 8. Okay. That was handy. <laughs> Listening to some Christmas music. Jingle bells. Ah! Game over! No! No! Say it ain't so. <laughs> I didn't get too far on this run. Well, just for fun, let's let's just uh, try one little last time here. I was wondering if I had to... Oh, did I have to put in the code again or not, but I guess not. You just keep playing. So I probably have to reset the system to, uh, to go or put in a different code. I don't... I, I know I, I... I think I have the manual. I think he sent me the manual um, a while back when he sent me the ROM. Um, with all the codes and stuff in it. Because there there's an option to play where you start off at the bottom and then you have to work your way up to the top. <laughs> That's like messed up. I, I don't know if I'd be able to play it that way. I'd be all confused. <laughs> where am I going? But cool idea, cool concept. I mean, that's one thing that, you know, when you do these conversions, like, from a previous game, it's always cool to throw in some extra bits and pieces to it that, um, wasn't in the original title. Like, obviously, this started off as an Atari 2600 game, uh, which in itself was very impressive. Uh, a late title came out, um, in the late 80s. Which is why it's one of the more expensive, um games to get your hands on the original hero for the uh the 2600 i always played it when i was a kid on the commodore 64 and i didn't even know it was uh, an atari game at that time i didn't i would have never thought it was an atari game oh geez oh i landed on him again that <laughs> Come on, Santa, you can do it. Oh. Ah! Definitely notice that the difference in playing with this controller versus the original. This is actually a good game to test this controller on because you have to be very precise with this game. In fact, you know, the Hero is one of those games where I said I really prefer the Atari joystick when playing it because that's what it was designed with. I mean, for use in mind, it's the the Atari 2600 joystick. Where's the hole? There it is. <laughs> Where's the hole? Uh, but yeah, the, uh, t the Atari 2600 joystick, you know, the nice firm stick. Uh, firm stick. Um, yeah, anyways, the joystick is actually beneficial, and, um, you know, we're, we're kind of, with, with the Intellivision, 
Um, there is options available. Like there is, uh, for this, uh, this controller anyways, I could take the disc part out and put in more of that joystick thing. I haven't tried to do that yet. Um, so I think it lo looks like I have to take it apart. And I just don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> like actually unscrewing everything. Oh. And I just don't want to get into that right now because I don't want to break it. I'm, I'm not, uh... I'm not that proficient in, in electronics as far as taking things apart and fixing and soldering and doing things, so... I'm just worried if I go and start taking things apart, I'm not going to get it back together. <laughs> At least back together the way it's supposed to be. Whoa! We got another Christmas song. I actually haven't been paying attention to the music, but... It seems like uh, there's multiple Christmas songs, which is good, so it doesn't get, uh, you know, redundant. Oh. Being in the dark is always so hard. <laughs> Let's see. What level am I on here? Eight again. We have dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. <laughs> Maybe it goes by the level? I don't know. Maybe each level has a different uh, Christmas tune or loops around. I'm sure if I go back and uh, watch this video and pay attention to the music, I can figure it out. <laughs> Oh, I always hate this part. <laughs> I told you, I always die at least once there. Oh well. Well, that was fun playing some Christmas theme games for Christmas time. Uh, like I said, this this is a really cool uh, option that was uh, built into this game. Um, I think you can still buy this game. I, I I think it might be still for sale, but you could probably also grab the ROM too. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. What's your favorite uh, version of, well, Hero or Heli, if you like this one or if you prefer the 2600 version? Always love to hear it. Anyways, hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.